Science 6, Quarter 2, Week 3, Milk Base. Let's learn about Respiratory System. Lesson 3. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Science 6, we will discuss about respiratory system. This is Lesson 3 of Week 3. For most essential learning competencies, explain how the different organ systems work together. The respiratory system plays a vital role in the human body. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the major parts of the respiratory system and explain the functions of the respiratory system. Respiratory System The respiratory system is an equally important system of the body that we cannot live without. First, it is a system which takes charge of the breathing process. Second, it is made up of several organs which is responsible for gas exchange in the body. Third, the organs help for taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide from the body. And fourth, it is made up of several parts without different functions namely, one of the organs of the respiratory system is the nose. Nose is an organ of the respiratory system found protruding between the eyes. It is the part where the air that we inhale enters and carries out the air that we exhale. Another organ of the respiratory system is the nasal cavity. It is the part found inside the nose. It is also lined with mucous membrane that helps keep the nose moist. It is also lined with hair-like structures called cilia, which helps trap dirt entering the nose. Another organ of the respiratory system is the mouth. It is a hollow cavity that allows food and air to enter the body. Another organ is the throat or pharynx. It is a muscular tube that runs from the back of your nose down into your neck. It is the passageway of the air entering the nasal cavity up to the esophagus and larynx. Another organ is the voice box or larynx. It serves as the passageway of air between the pharynx above and trachea below. It plays an essential role in human speech. Another organ of the respiratory system is windpipe or trachea. It is a tube that is about 4 inches long. It is found just under the larynx or voice box and then divides into two smaller tubes called bronchi. Another organ of the respiratory system is the bronchial tubes or bronchi. These are tubes which serves as the main passageway of the air entering the lungs. Another organ is bronchioles. These are passages that branch off from the bronchi. These are tubes that hold the air sacs or alveoli. Another organ is air sacs or alveoli. These are tiny sacs inside the lungs. It is the part where the exchange of gas takes place. It is the part where oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is carried out. Another organ is the lungs. These are pair of spongy, air-filled organs located on either side of the chest or thorax. And the last organ is the diaphragm. 
It is a thin skeletal muscle that sits at the base of the chest and separates the abdomen from the chest. It contracts and flattens when you inhale. It creates a vacuum effect that pulls air into the lungs. It relaxes when you exhale. And now, let us do learning task 1. Match the parts of the respiratory system in column A with its description in column B. Number 1. Nose. What is the correct description for this? Choose your answer in column B. Very good! The correct answer is letter C, the part where air enters the body. Number 2. Mouth. What is the correct description for this? Very good! The answer is letter F, a part that allows food and air to enter the body. Number 3. Throat. What is the correct description for this? Very good. The correct description is letter J, a tube that runs from your nose down to the neck. Number four, voice box. What is the correct description for this? Very good. The correct answer is letter A. It plays an essential role in human speech. Number 5. Windpipe. What is the correct description for this? Very good. The correct answer is letter G. A tube that is found under the larynx. Number 6. Bronchi. What is the correct description for this? Very good. The correct answer is letter I. A tube that serves as the main passageway of air. Number 7. Bronchioles. What is the correct description for this? Very good. The correct answer is letter B. These are tubes that holds the air sacs. Number 8. Air sacs. What is the correct description for this? Very good. The correct answer is... Letter E, the part where the exchange of gas takes place. Number 9, lungs. What is the correct description for this? Very good. The correct answer is letter H, a pair of spongy air-filled organ. And number 10, diaphragm. What is the correct description for this? Very good. The answer is letter D, contracts and relaxes when we inhale and exhale. And now, for learning task 2, study the pictures of the respiratory system below. Label the parts correctly. Do this on your answer sheet. Number 1 answer is nose. Number 2, this part is the mouth. Number three, this part is the voice box. Number four, this part is the lungs. Number five, this part is the bronchi. Number six, this part is the diaphragm. Number seven, this part is the throat. Number 8, this part is the windpipe. Number 9, this part is the bronchial tubes. Number 10, this part is the bronchioles. And number 11, this part is the air sacs. Remember, Respiratory System The respiratory system is an equally important system of the body that we cannot live without. First, it is a system which takes charge of the breathing process. Second, it is made up of several organs which is responsible for gas exchange in the body. Third, 
The organs help for taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide from the body. Fourth, it is made up of several parts without different functions namely. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!